Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler. Today I got a package from Nature's Workshop Plus, which is a science company for homeschoolers or for anybody really, but they specialize in homeschooling material. And we're gonna check out everything that they sent me. Now I opened it from the original package just so I can make it a little bit easier for this video. They sent me a couple of things to show you guys and I am really excited for this because you guys know that I love science lab kits. Lab kits save my life. <laughs> so when you have a science curriculum and they call for an experiment, all those materials that you have to gather up, that's what I'm really bad at remembering. And these lab kits are amazing because what they do is they take all the material that you need for an experiment and they put it in this box and you can just have it and it's ready to go. Now, the only thing that won't be in these kits is going to be like simple things that are around the house like water that you need from your tap or, you know, a pot to boil. Things that like is common sense that everybody's going to have. The rest of it though, and a lot of, even like a lot of the common sense type things that, that you are going to have are gonna be in this box. Just think of things that like they really can't ship to people. That's what's going to be in here. So if you want to get your own science lab kit and they have a ton for Apologia because I know a lot of us use Apologia, it's gonna be down below in the description box. So some of these things I had no idea they were sending me and I'm just, I'm so thankful because it's so much fun when they send stuff because I have two kids who just love science. So anything that they send on their website is just so cool and they have such an array of different things. They have everything from like nature and you know outside type of things to board games. So there's tons of stuff on their website. It's not just science and homeschool kit. Okay, so the first thing they sent were these gumdrop squishy balls. My kids love these things. They're gonna have to fight me for them though because I kind of like them too. So these were right on top and my kids just ran for them and they're just like these balls that you need and squish. This would be a fantastic stocking stuffer I think and they're a lot more durable than the ones that I bought that they popped the very first day on Amazon. So I'm really happy about that. I I might have to I might have to steal one for myself. I don't know. But these things are really really cool. The next thing they sent, my youngest went crazy over because if you've been on my channel for a while then you know he loves animals, but he especially loves birds. And he is a big bird watcher. We have like this bird feeder that he tries to capture the birds on all the time. But his favorite bird is a cardinal and they sent this bird pouch like this zipper pouch and he's had it on his desk since it arrived and he just he cannot decide what to put in it he's just so excited and it has like a really durable zipper too i really like that so i don't know he might end up putting some of his game pieces in here he's got so many things he could put his pencils for school i think i'm pretty sure this could fit pencils but yeah it has the study of birds on it isn't that cute? I love it. He loves cardinals. He's like me. He just, he loves cardinals and we have a lot of cardinals around here. So he was so excited to see that. I have to explain this because I have two kids that are obsessed. So my youngest, his birthday is actually tomorrow. He's turning 14 and he loves Catan. And when I say he loves Catan, I mean we are borderline obsession level with Catan in my house. <laughs> and he has so many Catan games and or what you call extensions. So you get the main board game of Catan and then you get the extensions. And these things are not cheap when you start collecting them. And from what I understand, there's like a cult following around Catan. Like it is a huge thing. I did not know how big Catan was. I think it's relatively new, like 2015 or so. When I say new, I mean like when an old person says something is new. So like 2015-ish, 2016-ish, I think. 
might be even 2013 i don't know it's it's in the 2010s it started out and they come out with new extensions all the time the main game is this red one right here so you need to start with the red one and then you build out from that red one so we have the red one obviously but they sent us the purple one which is the traders and barbarians he loves Catan. he already roped me into a game last night He's already opened it because he ripped into this as soon as he saw it. He was just over the moon excited. You guys, if you love board games, go check out Nature's Workshop Plus. One of these days, I need to show you guys my son's Catan collection because I don't even know how to store them anymore. He's just, the way that he builds these games, I don't know how he does it. He just absolutely loves it. It's really cool though, and he's taught me how to play. I wasn't sure if I would, if I was going to be able to learn how to play this but he has taught everybody in the house how to play and he loves it so if you have older kids seriously look into Catan it is a really fun game here is the big box this is this is what I was excited for because I am a nerd this is the new exploring creation with physical science lab kit if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about for this book. So Apologia recently updated their physical science and they have the fourth edition now. So they went from third edition to fourth edition. It's the one with the purple on the cover. This is the one that you want. So you definitely want this book because this, this box here goes with this edition. So I can't promise you that the experiments are going to be the same or the list of supplies that you need is going to be the same for any other edition. So you need to make sure that you have the fourth edition book and the fourth edition box and it will say the edition on the box. I haven't even opened it so we're going to open it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now there's a lot of reasons why I like using Nature's Workshop Plus. But one of the main reasons that I like using them is because the way they organize the kits. These kits would be a lot more frustrating if they were not as well organized, but they are the best organized company that I have seen with lab kits. Which means it makes it so much easier on me because everything is done for me. So when I totally forget that we have an experiment coming up because silly me forgot to look in my book the night before, I don't have to fret because I know it's already in here. So the stress that it cuts out for me during the week all year long is immense. So right on the top of your kit, you're going to get this piece of paper, well, a couple papers stapled together, and it's going to tell you the items for each thing and the quantity and what bag that they're in. So you can kind of go through and see what you have. I put this in my planner right up in the front or I just keep it in the box here so I can just take it out and I know where everything is. It makes it a little bit easier to find things if you need to, but really you don't even need them because when you take out the bag, it's going to have a sticker on it. And these stickers are gonna tell you the module number and it's going to tell you what is included in the bag and it will even tell you if you need to save something. Now, another thing that they tell you is what you need to provide. So this one is for module 14, for example, okay? I'm gonna show you if my camera will get on there. Okay, so this bag is for module 14 and it has everything that's included. And then it says you provide edibles for page 484, plastic wrap, a teaspoon, and iodine because they're not allowed to ship iodine so it says that you need to purchase that from your pharmacy and water so that way i know ahead of time if i just get out this little bag and look and i'm in the i am in the habit now of getting the bags out and looking just in case i need to provide something like iodine and i just write it down in my planner or i order it from my store whatever i need to do so that makes it so much easier on me. And they'll even tell you if you need to save something for later. So I don't see one on here, but a lot of times I know in other boxes, what'll happen is you will need to save one of the supplies for another um, 
like another experiment. So for example, let's say they provide something like these pencils or tape. That's, that's ones that usually you have to reuse. And what will happen is you're going to do another experiment that's very similar, maybe in the next, you know, day or two, or maybe in another module, maybe you need, um, maybe you need scotch tape in another module, the experiment bags, there will be some kind of note on here that will tell you to save it for experiment number, whatever. So what we do is we have like a, an extra bag in here and we put everything in those bags that we need to save. So we don't lose those pieces. It makes it so much easier on me because I already know it's there. And if I don't have to reuse those things, then I just keep them for around the house or toss them so that, you know, clutter doesn't, you know, end up all over the place, but it just, I'm telling you, they just make my life so much easier because it's already there and I don't really have to think about things. And everything in here is packed very, very well, which is why I don't want to take out a whole lot of things because it's going to make a mess. <laughs> yeah, like they'll even pack things like cornstarch. Like this is a box of cornstarch and this is for module 12. So they've packed in here cornstarch, goggles, mas masking tape, measuring cups. And some of these are there there is a little note it says located in module 5 located in module 2 so when you see that little note then you go back to the module 5 bag and you find those things and you know you save them so sometimes you're going to reuse items and it will have a note on there for you that you need to reuse those items and it's found in another bag so like i said this is for the brand new apology of physical science this is not for the older editions because I think they change the experiments every time they have a new edition. Um, this is the only company that I know of that is doing the version four or this book right here. I have yet to find any other company that has the lab kits for this book here. So if you want the lab kit, you need to get it through um, Nature's Workshop Plus, at least at the time of this recording. So if you need a lab kit to make your life a little bit easier like me, I have the link down below where you can go and get this box. It really does make things easier during the week for me just because I cannot remember all of these things sometimes. Even though I write them down in my planner and even though I know they're coming up and even though I am in like I know better. Like I'm at the point now where like, I know better. I still forget. <laughs> I still forget you guys. I'm human. And there's only so, so many things that one homeschool mama can remember. And the experiments are just my thing. I just can't remember them. So I am so thankful for companies like nature's workshop plus that has these tools to help us. And I'm so thankful that they sent me this box huge huge thank you to nature's workshop plus for sending these out and having them ready before the school year even begins because they're ready right now so you can go and get them you can go and order them so thanks for hanging out with me today guys and seeing this brand new lab kit from nature's workshop plus i'm so excited to have it thank you again nature's workshop plus i am so thankful to be working with you guys and to get this great box for the entire school year if you follow me on Instagram. I post experiments all the time that we do throughout the year with Apologia. I will leave the link down below for the Apologia um, physical science book too. If this is for, if I haven't mentioned it, this is for middle grade. So I'm using this for grade eight. We used, uh, we used their other one last year. We're, we just go in order the way that Apologia has it on their website. So we just go in that exact order and they recommend this one for grade eight. So that is what we're doing. I am partway through this book already. I will do a, um, a review of this book when I get further into it. I am like six weeks, I think, as far as planning into this book. So I've read, a, I've read I think up to week six and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna do some more reading before I do an actual review. I wanna have some, some more material underfoot before I really give a, a solid review on this, but so far so good. I like it. I think you guys are gonna like it. It's a really nice looking textbook. It's very colorful. Looks like it's a lot of fun. I think my kid is going to love it. So we're gonna have a great year. 
and we start next week. So I cannot wait to start filming new videos for you guys about all the new curriculum and what we're using. And you guys are gonna see this stuff on Instagram for sure. So make sure that you're following me there and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy homeschooling.